Summer storms, characterized by heavy rain, thunder, lightning, and sometimes accompanied by strong winds, hail, or even tornadoes, are a climatic phenomenon that many regions around the world experience. These storms are a result of various atmospheric and terrestrial factors coming together. During summer, the sun's rays strike the earth more directly than in other seasons. This leads to longer daylight hours and intense heating of the earth's surface. The intense heat causes the air above the surface to warm up, making it less dense and causing it to rise. As the warm air rises, it cools and water vapor within it condenses into water droplets or ice crystals, forming clouds. Under the right conditions, these clouds can grow vertically and develop into towering cumulonimbus clouds, which are the main cloud type associated with thunderstorms. For summer storms to form, two key ingredients are necessary moisture and instability. Warm air can hold more moisture than cooler air, and in summer, there's typically more evaporation from bodies of water, providing the atmosphere with the needed moisture. Instability, on the other hand, arises when warm moist air at the surface rises into cooler air aloft. As the ground gets heated by the sun, pockets of warm air called thermals begin to rise. This upward movement of air, known as convection, is a significant driving force behind summer storms. These convection currents can be enhanced by varying terrain, such as mountains, which can force air to rise, further strengthening storm development. Sometimes, summer storms are triggered when different air masses collide. When a cooler air mass encounters a warmer moist air mass, the warm air is forced upwards, leading to cloud formation and often precipitation. These boundaries or front lines are often the sites of intense storm activity. As a storm cloud develops, interactions between particles within the cloud create electrical charges. When the charge difference becomes too significant, a discharge occurs in the form of lightning, which superheats the air around it, leading to the creation of a shockwave we hear as thunder. While summer storms can bring relief from heat and contribute to replenishing water sources, they can also pose threats. Flash floods, damaging winds, lightning strikes, hail, and even tornadoes can be products of these storms. It's crucial to take precautions when they are forecasted. Not all regions experience summer storms to the same degree. Factors such as proximity to oceans or large lakes, which provide moisture, local topography, and prevailing atmospheric patterns can all influence how often and how intensely storms occur. Summer storms are a fascinating interplay of atmospheric dynamics and terrestrial influences. While they can be awe-inspiring and bring about much-needed rain, they also remind us of the raw power of nature. Understanding their causes and mechanisms can help us better prepare for and appreciate these natural events.